Hi, I'm Allie. Join me in creating this lustrous beauty necklace, which is really simple and just going back and forth and back. Remember, if you need any supplies like these new Potomac pearls, go ahead and look below the video in that description. Hit that show more button or if you're on a mobile, that little down arrow and that'll get links to our website. Gather up your materials and let's get ready to get started. So to get started on our necklace, it's super simple. I have some 8 OC beads here, 4 millimeter beads, 11s, and 8 millimeter pearls. The very beginning, I have a size 10 beading needle on some size 6 gray wildfire. I'm picking up 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 8 OC beads, followed by one of my 4 millimeter beads, whether or not it's check glass, which we have a ton of new ones, or whether or not it's pearls. 4 millimeter bead five beads, four millimeter bead. I'm going to continue this for 18 inches. So each set of two is about an inch here. I got 36 to do total. And we're gonna go in and do five beads, one bead, five beads, one bead, the whole length of that 18 inches. Once you're done stringing your 18 inches, you're actually done with your 8 OC beads. I have a button here. You can use an infinite clasp, a button, anything will really work. And what I'm going to do is start with my 11 OC beads coming out after my 18 inches here. And I'm going to add one, two, three of my 11s. So up through one hole of my cup button, add one, 11, one, eight, one, 11. So down through the second side of the cup button, you have a nice tight pull, add one, two, three more 11s coming out that last side, and then back in to the eight OC beads. Once you're back into the eight OC beads, go ahead and go the whole way into the eight O's and into the first four. Now you may be thinking, oh no, I only have one strand of thread going through the clasp. And if you watch me enough, you know that that is never a good idea. So we're going to get another strand in because we're going down the necklace, and then we're gonna come back the necklace to add in extra stability to that clasp. From here, our next step is adding in our little drops. So coming out of the pearl, or coming out of the four millimeter rather, we're going to add our pearl. You can decide where you want this to begin. I'm going to skip that first inch and I'm going to sew through the next group of five and come out through the second four millimeter bead that I already put on there. Coming out that four millimeter bead, we're gonna be using our fours and our eight size pearls. Add one 11 OC bead, one four millimeter. You can change this drop up a lot. One more 11, one of our eights in our Potomac pearls, another 11, another four, and another 11. So the pattern is four, eight, four, with 11 O's before and after that. Once you're here, we are going to skip over the five C beads. This is going to hang below those five C beads. We're gonna sew into the next four millimeter bead, through the next five C beads, and come out through the second four millimeter bead. These four millimeters and that little pearl will hang down there like they're hanging off the piece. I'm going to continue again, doing that same pattern of four, with an 11 0 between our eight, with an 11 0 between our four, with an 11 0 after. So it starts with 11, it ends with 11. And then once again, sewing through the next four millimeter bead, skipping over all those eights, sewing through them, sewing through the next four millimeter bead. and then ready to go. So you see how you're getting a little bit of that curvature already? It's gonna be exaggerated as we build on. So continue on, you should have that little scoop or that little loop as you're building on to the piece. So continue building the whole way here, adding in your pearls. Once you reach the end of adding your fours and your eights, you're coming out the last eight right there near that stop bead, and we are gonna make a loop for our button clasp to sit inside of. So we have the button on one side here, and we're gonna make the loop for the other one to sit in using about 25 of our 11 OC beads. What we're gonna do after adding those 25 beads is we are going to go back through the first five beads as well as the first four millimeter and the first 
of the next set of five 8OC beads. So I'm coming out bead number one before number two of that second set of five there. This is where we're going to add additional beads to the top of that curvature. So when we're coming out here, we are going to be adding an 8O, a four millimeter, and an 8OC bead. We're gonna switch our 8O colors to bring in some of that uh, brass color to a gold 8OC bead. And we are staying with the same four millimeter. Here's where you can get creative. You can use the same pearls all the way through. You can use different fours, different eights, and this is really where you can make the design your own. If you do switch it up, make sure to comment below and help out other Potomac beaters that may be watching. From here, I'm gonna put on one eight oh, one four millimeter, one eight oh. I'm then going to sew and skip over beads two, three, four, and sew in to bead number five, through the row here, all the way of the next five seed beads, out through the next four, and out through bead number one of my next open group of five. That's gonna put these beads right there in between my pearls. Again, eight, four, eight, skip over, go into bead number five, and go into the four millimeter straight down the row of the five seed beads into the next four and out after the first, it wants to, after the first eight O seed bead. Being tricky on me there, I'll come out after the four. So through bead number one of the eight O's and then I'm in place and ready to add my next little zigzag there. See how those are staying towards the top of each of the designs and my pearls are right there at the bottom. Continuing on, going the whole way down the line, adding your 848 in those open spaces above the pearls. Once you get to the end of the design, you want to make sure to go up through the 8, the 4, the 8s, the 11s. We're tightening this up, adding in our last little section here, and reinforcing this button. Because remember, we said we're reinforcing it. We want more than one strand to always go through the clasp. So this is our second strand going through and reinforcing the clasp. Coming down then, we are going to head out and exit right after that first four millimeter bead before we go back the other way to reinforce our clasp. As we come back down the necklace then to get to the other side to tie off and take off our stop bead, the only thing that we're going to do, which is optional, you don't have to, you can keep it just open at the top and just with that eight or 11 there, we're going to add an 11 in next to each of our three millimeters. So I pulled it back here so you can see the effect that it's having on the necklace where the pearls will go to one side and the check glass will go to the other. And what we're doing is we're working to tighten that up and to make that stay. Going through the piece then coming back, you're going to exit each time out of the 80 gold C bead. Give a nice tight pull, we're tightening up. And once we tighten that up, add in 111, go through the four that's there. And you can do 11 OC beads also on the sides, it's kind of up to you. Add another 11, and then once again, string through the whole thing till we get to the opposite side and out through the gold. This tightens it up just enough that that curvature stays in place and you get that over under effect. If you do not want that over under effect and you want it to all go down to one side, you can do that as well by just making this a little bit bigger and including those 11 O's in the original pool when you're putting those through. So again, 11s go on on either side of the four millimeter bead. You're giving nice tight pulls down through the bead the whole way over to come through. This would look lovely with crystals as well hanging down near those pearls. So just go ahead back through, reinforce that turn that's happening, and then we'll go through, loop through the seed beads one more time and tie off our thread ends. Thanks so much for joining me on this lustrous beauty necklace. It is really easy, really fun to do, and hopefully gives you a lot of ideas for modifications. Remember, if you do have any of those modifications, go ahead and list them in the comment section to help out other Potomac beaters and expand this amazing community. As always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for our next inspirational design.